Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I have a very exciting video for you today. I've teamed up with Just For You Online UK to do a really fun giveaway for you guys. So what it is, is uh, Just For You Online UK is giving away a 100 pound gift card. They are in the UK, so you heard that right, 100 pounds, but they ship very inexpensively and quickly to the US and many other parts of the world. So how you enter, is you are going to comment win on this video and then you also must be subscribed to both my channel and just for you online uk on their channel i'll put the link for their channel down in the description and you need to make sure that you do those things by midnight april 24th pacific time the winner will be chosen and announced on both instagram and youtube by april 27th 2020 Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm trying out their um, round molds. I've never tried these ones before, I just got them. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, I have all kinds of molds from them. They have the most amazing molds and the most amazing glitters. So I'm also trying out three new glitters. One is Chunky Unicorn, that is awesome. Uh, this one is Chunky Seahawk, and then this one is Chunky Rose Gold. I will also be using some mica powders that I have from them. One's chameleon violet, and one is the gold metallic pigment. So I'm gonna get everything mixed up and then we'll get started. I am using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat Resin. So I'll get everything mixed up and be right back. Okay, so I've got my resin and my colors all mixed up here. In two of these, I'm gonna do just the glitters. And then in two, I'm gonna do that uh, unicorn glitter along with the chameleon violet blue mica powder and the gold powder. So I think that will be really pretty together. For those of you who haven't used resin with glitter before, it just sinks. So you kind of have to keep stirring it as you go. So I think I'll just do these first. And also, um, this is the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat Resin. It is not specifically designed for molds. You can definitely use it for molds though. It has UV protection, heat protection, everything. But you're not gonna wanna pour it really thick. So what I often do with these coasters is I will pour a more thin layer. Um, I usually find that you can do up to about three, uh, you know, two eighths, a quarter of an inch, sorry. Oh, math. Um, a quarter of an inch with no issues, really. And then I'll come back and I will add a clear layer, which also, if you're using glitter, um, it's going to sink to the bottom anyways. So you're going to need that clear layer on the top anyways. I am going to actually go in here with some of the chameleon color, and that will just break up the glitter just a little bit. These are going to be super glittery, though. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can pour it all in the middle like I am doing, and that will push the colors out. You can go in circles. You can do anything you want. There's no right or wrong. I definitely think I have more in the other one than this one. I'm not trying to make these perfectly match either. <laughs> So if you're doing glitter with resin, just keep stirring it as you go because, like I said, it just sinks to the bottom. I think these are going to be really pretty. I love this rose gold glitter. Alright, so feeling that this is just unlevel. I'm gonna rotate this a little. And I think I'm gonna go in there with a little more of the chameleon. Yep, you can tell, see the resin's all moving that way. Okay, just about done with these. And you don't have to come back with that extra clear layer if you don't want to, you can leave them kind of thin. Totally up to you. All right, that should be plenty for those guys. So now I'm gonna get started on these guys. And I think I'll do a little bit different technique. So I'm gonna put, this is the chameleon violet. I'm gonna put that kind of over here. And 
And I, I do have a little bit of clear left as well in case I need to mix up a little bit more of any color, which I like to do just in case. And then I'm going to put the unicorn glitter on this side. Man, I love this stuff. It's awesome. So with your gift card, if you win, you'll be able to purchase any of these and then some. And they are a great company. I've been using their products for quite a while now. Love every single thing I've tried. They have um, geode molds and all kinds of things. Okay, now I'm going to get in here with some of the gold. I don't know about you, but I personally love gold and pink together. So keep in mind that pretty much how you pour it to begin with is how it's going to look on the bottom. The bottom won't change as much as the top does. So just kind of keep that in mind. Both sides will not be identical. All right, I am happy with that. This is going to keep moving. I think I am going to kind of just tilt it just a little bit to kind of um, get those colors moving into each other a little bit more. But they'll keep moving. Okay, great. I am going to uh, hit these with my heat gun really quick. I do that instead of torch because otherwise the torch can sometimes melt the silicone. I'll let these dry and then I'll come back and show you how they look all dry. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, these are still a little bit soft, but I'm going to go ahead and peel them out. I think that they are thick enough, but you can, like I said, add more if you'd like. Um, so... There we go. I think these are really pretty Look at the bottom there. So if you do peel them out when they are soft, just make sure that you lay them flat so that they can fully harden. Here's the second one. Very similar. And like I said, these guys make my favorite molds. They're so easy to peel out and they last for forever. So this is the one really glittery on the bottom. I really like both sides. And one more. There we go. These are some other molds of theirs that I have that I've been using for quite a while. And I actually put the leftover resin in here. Um, so these are circular but with a jagged edge. Lots of fun. And I always keep some molds around in case I do have extra resin after a project. And so I can just make some coasters. All right, guys, really hope you enjoyed this. So do not forget to get entered into this giveaway from Just For You Online UK. Make sure you comment win down in the comments and make sure you follow both me and Just For You Online UK on YouTube and then keep your eye out for that announcement video in just over a week. I will see you guys next time.